2017 was a very interesting year. Uh, you know, Rod has been in this journey of uh, SDN and FE from the start. So it took time until customers reached the level of uh, acceptance of this technology. I think 2017 was the turning point. So we're in Tel Aviv at the Brad headquarters. I'm here with Ilan. Ilan, great to see you. Hi, Ray. Good seeing you again. Okay, thanks for having us here. Um, now, network operators are facing a lot of challenges in 2018, but we're going to focus on three particular ones today. Um, and the first one is the suitability of white box technology for service provider networks. Um, this has been talked about for years. Has this become a reality, and what are still the challenges for network operators today? So. NFE and SDN in general are becoming a reality. We have seen during the last year some uh, large operators actually launching, deploying uh, VCP-based uh, solutions. While they started these deployments, they started to see some challenges. And uh, maybe the first and most uh, interesting one is the fact that you know, white boxes are coming from IT, from data center environment. They were not really designed for uh, networks in general for telecom environment and surely not for the access part of the network where you know in the access you have typically a variety of access technologies uh, in addition to fiber you need to use uh, DSL, PON, uh, even TDM in some cases. Right. White boxes simply don't have these capabilities and white boxes don't support uh, today the troubleshooting, diagnostics, monitoring uh, capabilities that are typically required in order to deploy and troubleshoot and diagnose and service the life cycle of a, of a service. Okay. And so is there um, a particular solution that, that RAD has developed to help uh, counter this challenge? Yes, definitely. So we have uh, on one side an operating system that can run on RADs or any third party uh, white box. Okay. This operating system natively includes uh, telecom grade capabilities. So once you deploy it on any third party white box, you have uh, diagnostics, troubleshooting, uh, performance monitoring capabilities within this uh, white box. In some cases, um, if a service provider selects uh, a solution from another vendor, he will still need to address these challenges. He will still need to use the available access technologies that are there in the field. And RAD can help, even in those scenarios, we can provide uh, pluggable devices for uh, DSL, PON, even TDM, even multi-link TDM connections, Right. together with our own VNF. Um, we have a special, very unique VNF, a RAD VNF called VAccess, that uh, can be deployed, and is actually deployed by tier one operators in North America, into third party uh, white boxes. And this VNF provides uh, monitoring uh, health of, of the VNFs. Plus, it helps to manage RAD pluggables. So in this kind of a multi-vendor environment, it's possible to deploy vAccess, uh, to deploy RAD pluggable PNFs in order to address the real life challenges of service providers and making uh, white boxes telco grade. Okay, so providing telco grade capabilities to uh, a white box platform essentially. Right. So, okay. so on one, one side, it, it's making the white box carrier class because you know, a white box is a, is a universal device, while networks are not universal. Every network, every access, even within a different area of the same server provider, it will have different challenges. Right. Okay. So how to adapt that? We, we can help in, in this regard. OK, excellent. Um, now, SD-WAN obviously has become a, a really big topic for, for network operators, for the supplier community, and for enterprises around the world in the last 12 to 18 months. Um, how do you see that market developing and, and what kind of challenges have you seen emerging as SD-WAN has become a reality? So, so you're right. We've seen the last year that SD-WAN definitely caught the attention of uh, service providers uh, and there are some announcements. I think some service providers are even investing in, in some of the SD-WAN uh, startups. Uh, but there's also some uh, realization process. I think so, some service providers start to realize that Whilst SD1 gives them a relatively easy to deploy solution that includes uh, VNF, in some cases also white boxes, uh, and a management suite, it's also a closed garden. So once they go with a certain uh, VNF uh, SD1 vendor, 
uh, it's very tough for them to either add more capabilities because they become, become dependent on that particular uh, vendor, or uh, it's basically kind of a closed garden. So if the goal was to get out of the Cisco's of the world closed garden, they just replace it with another right. uh, vendor closed garden. And in some cases, it's even back to Cisco, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you think about uh, the Viptela case, for instance. OK. And so what is, uh, how can RAD sort of help to ad address this particular challenge? So first of all, we definitely realize that um, SD1 provides a lot of value. And we partner with Versa Networks that uh, we have a global OEM uh, relationship with them. Okay. And we provide a solution that includes our operating system with the pluggable uh, access interface that I mentioned before to allow deployment in any uh, environment, in any uh, location. And we run the Versa uh, SD1 software as a VNF on our operating system. Uh, and this creates an open environment because it's very easy to add additional functions. If the customer wants to use uh, another vendor security suite or uh, SBC or actually any kind of VNF that is relevant for the access network, it can simply chain it to the SD1 uh, VNF. And this gives him the flexibility to pick and choose the best of breed VNFs that, he is, uh, is, uh, that are actually relevant for right. his uh, customers, for his deployment scenarios, and uh, change them in the future if required. OK. All right. So opening up the options in the SD1 market. OK. That sounds like a, a, a good way forward. Um, and I guess tied with that, there's a, a renewed talk in the industry these days um, about uh, out-of-the-box capabilities, end-to-end um, uh, -end automation. Um, is this a, a real opportunity now in, the, in wide area networks and for, for the telecoms community? Or is, are we still at the kind of um, the hope and dream stage? So we had the opportunity to chat a little bit about our past experience with the <laughs> telemanagement forum, right? So, so the concept of having uh, magically some way to integrate systems and have a network-wide uh, management solution is not new, right? The vision was there for, for, for uh, before SDN came to life, yeah. and it's still here. It's a good vision, right? And we are getting there, but we don't want to wait until it happens. And reality today is that. Uh, you don't have really out-of-the-box multi-vendor solutions that can provide you this uh, kind of end-to-end -end, uh, management capability. There are efforts involved. And I think service providers are starting to realize that it makes sense to have uh, vendor-specific um, domain orchestrators. That's kind of a mediation layer between the variety of uh, network devices, CPs, UCPs, PCPs that have to be deployed. And you have many of those in the access and a network-wide orchestration system. So to have a, a vendor-specific uh, mediation layer or a vendor-specific uh, um, SDN controller that can actually natively manage this specific vendor equipment, but is SDN managed as SDN-based uh, northbound interface can interface, integrate into a network-wide um, orchestration solution. This is a solution, this kind of an approach is something that is practical, can be deployed today, and I see more and more operators gravitating to that. They say, let's start with this. Um, maybe in the future when we have a network-wide orchestration solution, we migrate to that, but they don't want to wait. Okay. Because they want to, to go to market with, with the technology. Okay. And so what kind of solution is available to uh, enable this you know, step right now in 2018? So, so what we have in, in our toolbox, in our VCP uh, solution, is, is, a, is a comprehensive uh, package that includes all the aspects that I, I've just uh, described. So on one hand, we have an operating system. It, it's the core of our solution. It includes networking, security, tunneling, and ability to host uh, any VNF, for example, SD1 as a VNF, and others, of course. Um, and we have an ecosystem of uh, VNF partners that okay. we certify, we test, uh, we're able to provide uh, uh, performance results to, to our customers for that specific, uh, for those uh, VNFs. And a set of white boxes that uh, we can offer to our customers 
But this same operating system can run also on a, on a white box provided by our customer. Okay. So, you know, it's very flexible and open. And in addition, uh, we can provide the access interfaces, the pluggable PNFs, as we call them, that can be hosted on RAD white box, on third party white box, managed through our operating system, and allow the service provider to deploy the solution anywhere. On top of that, we provide a lifecycle management domain orchestrator or suite that allows to deploy the VNFs, chain the VNF, manage the operating system, manage the different types of uh, white boxes. And this is kind of out of the box solution that operating si operators can actually take as is, deploy VCP services based on it today, but it's still open. So in the future, once uh, there is a network-wide orchestration solution, we can interface with that. Okay, well, RAD has always been known as a, a company with practical solutions for the market. It sounds like you're continuing that trend. So Ilan, thanks very much for telling us about those today. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you.